हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डेट टेन ऑफ आवर मेंस समाधान कोर्स सो टुडे विल बी कवरिंग अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम पेपर टू दिस इज जेस टू सो द सब टॉपिक इज सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर्स फंक्शनिंग ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड जुडिशियरी द क्वेश्चन इज क्रिटिकली एनालाइज द प्रोसेस ऑफ सिलेक्शन ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस इन इंडिया सजेस्ट मेजर्स टू प्रिवेंट द एग्जीक्यूटिव अननेसेसरी इंटरवेंशन इन द जुडिशियरी so the question is about the selection of judges so the method of selection of judges of supreme court finds no mention in the constitution in constitution uh, there is no exact method or the procedure of selection is not mentioned the constitution confers the power of appointment of judges on the president of india so the appointment will be done by president of india it is mentioned in the constitution however the method is not mentioned the collegium method was created as a result of three judgments of the supreme court now presently the supreme court judges are appointed by the collegium method as per the third judgments or third judges case so what is the third judges case here we have, we have to mention because the question uh, ask about uh, the process of selection so we need to mention so here the cgi and the four senior most judges could recommend the judges for a appointment a candidate has to be supported by majority of the collegium once the collegium makes a recommendation to the president the president can either accept it or send it back to the collegium for reconsideration so for one for one time they can uh, they can send it back <coughs> to the collegium for reconsideration if the collegium one second recommends that candidate for appointment the president is bound by the recommendation Now, what are the critical analysis of this particular process? This method is also criticized on some aspects. That is, failure to make an assessment of the candidate at the time of recommending his name. So, there is no proper assessment of the candidate. The selection process by the collegium is also a non-transparent process, and it has become prone to favoritism. The collegium has necessarily limited its field of choice to the senior most judges from the High Court for the appointment of Supreme Court. overlooking several talented junior judges in the high court so it has limited itself to senior most judges there, there must be some judges who are more talented so in that particular category uh, the the process is limited the executive many times opposes the collegium thereby interfering in the judiciary so uh, it in a way it uh, violates article 50 it is a separation of judiciary and executive there are no time limits for the executive to approve the collegium's recommendations so these are the problems or the critical analysis of this selection process so in way forward you can mention <coughs> national judicial appointments commission which should be an independent body to select judges it can be established as in countries like uk south africa canada so it should be independent it should not uh, have any ministers it should not have any ministers it should be if uh, there should be a fixed time for approval of recommendations looking at the size of the indian superior judiciary it may be necessary to have two judicial commissions in india one for the supreme court and another for the high court so uh, this is the answer uh, with respect to this particular question regarding process of selection of supreme court judges so our mains uh, samadhan batch is going on anyone who wants uh, to have uh, day to day analysis of any any topic any answer evaluation from gs 1 2 3 4 uh, <clears throat> he or she can contact from you can take the number from here and uh, go to my channel and see the details Thank you.